What's up guys, it's Hatsmania, and with this video, I just want to discuss the um, ARG ban list, because really, it's got to be kind of fired up, because uh, I kind of feel like it's really ridiculous of ARG to do this. Now, just to quickly go over what the heck it is, ARG is a company that does its own tournaments that are unsanctioned by Konami. They mostly do tournaments for money, um, and... They have been kind of in rivalry with Konami in terms of these tournaments in the U.S. only. Um, these tournaments, again, it's or just or nowhere nowhere near as popular as Konami has been. Um, but it has they have been gaining some sort of popularity, as I understand it, um, because of the fact that they have been giving out monetary prizes, and they have even shown that because of the fact that they now have a ban limited list. Um, this really irks me. I, I first heard about ARG about three years ago, and honestly, I didn't, I didn't like it. Uh, I agree with Konami. This game isn't meant to be played for money, necessarily. Um, it's meant to be a, a kid's card game, um, first and foremost, and then it evolves into the metagame and everything else. But, um, ARG kind of taints that in that aspect. However, uh, moving over to the task, task at hand... The ban list. Uh, just to go quickly over what they have banned, etc. Uh, they have banned the Jin Releaser of Rituals, Fusion Gate, Lavabal Chain, Necroz of Trishula, Royal Magical Library, Vanity's Emptiness. They restricted to one uh, Seer, El Shadal Construct, uh, El Shadal Fusion, Bubble Man, Stratos, Instant Fusion, Mistake, Unicor, and Zen Mighty. Um, they restricted to two Dante, Dragon Ravine, and Zector Hornet. Rescue Rabbit, Summoner's Art, Torrential Tribute, Wind Up Magician, and then they no longer restricted Chaos Sorcerer, Dark Hole, Glow Up Bulb, Sacred Sword of, of Seven Stars. Um, I have a problem with this. Because I feel like ARG is getting a... trying. They're trying to take over the game. And um, I, I'm posting this video in reaction to a video uh, put up by uh, a guy named All in the Yo. If you haven't heard of him, he is a British Yugi tuber, um, and he the video is very good. I'll put a link to it in the description, um, and it's it's very it takes a very comprehensive look at this. And quite honestly, uh, I do agree with All in the Yo on a lot of points. However, I want to wanted to expand on it. Um, the ARG company made this so they could basically create their own tournaments and control the secondary market um they did not touch clee forts or well they kind of hit clee forts but they only took away one summer's are which is which is quite honestly not a big deal and they didn't even touch the teller knights um they're trying to control the secondary market at least on their standards and at the very least in the u.s and quite honestly i feel like that's a very toxic thing to do um, this really hurts the TCG because it really splits it down the middle. And also Konami doesn't make any money off the secondary market, by the way, if you don't know that, um, anyway, but, um, they're trying to make money off the secondary market and they're trying to f force Yu-Gi-Oh players to choose ARG or Konami when that's somewhat unrealistic when you technically could do both, but it becomes problematic because... ARG is essentially challenging Konami's authority. And I feel like this is just outright outright just disrespectful and stupid of ARG to do because Konami is a much bigger entity than they are, but also because Konami has set themselves up to where they have they have their own committee of people who are in charge of this list of their own list and they decide what is good and what is bad for the game they don't decide on they don't decide on what cards need to go or come off based off of what people want and i feel like that is the best case scenario while people might not always agree with the decisions konami's made specifically snatch steel in the january format um konami is very fair and balanced they make these decisions because they see hey 
this card is becoming too overpowered and is preventing people from really playing the game. They, Konami wants people to play the game first and foremost, and because because of that, it, it makes people want to buy the cards and play the game and keep cycling around like that. Some of these cards on ARG's list that I understand why. Um, I understand Fusion Gate why that's banned it's a preemptive strike uh royal magical library another preemptive if you don't know the ignite thing uh combo uh, yeah these two are pretty key cards in that and it's also because fusion gate is somewhat ridiculous seer it that's specifically just to hit dante uh not dante the uh burning abyss along with the dante hit um construct and el shadal fusion another thing right there instant fusion preemptive strike but there are other things that are just kind of ridiculous. I feel the Jin Releaser Rituals is kind of ridiculous to ban. And the reason why I feel like it is because once you hit Necroz, the Jin Re Releaser Rituals becomes obsolete. It's not necessary. Um, to hit that, to hit Necroz is hitting the Jin. And yes, there are more ritual monsters coming out, such as Sybils and uh, the new Red Eyes. There's, they're not going to be using more than one. And if, and if that, they're going to be playing in the side deck. This will go in and out of the of the meta constantly, um, and this it's just not it's like burn it's like uh what's it called bottomless trap hole. Some people love bottomless trap hole, other people don't. It's been going in and out of the meta just like this. Um, Necros of Trishula. I I understand why um, it's on this list. I think it's unnecessary. Um, it's not powerful enough to be warranted a ban. It's powerful enough to be warranted a limited because it's a boss monster and it's very hard to get out in general. Um, most decks don't always, most Necros decks are good without Trishula regardless, and they can still play around decks, other decks without Trishula. Trishula definitely helps them. It's their main boss monster, obviously, but the deck still functions without it, and I I feel like just limiting Trishula to one is, is is as much as necessary. Banning vanities, I feel like I have a very strong opinion opinion about vanities, and vanities, in fact, I felt like it should never have gone to one. This is my personal opinion. I felt like it should have gone to two first. The reason why I say that is because while it was at three, we had so many decks. We had like an eight or nine deck meta where like so many rogue decks were considered so much more high tier. I mean, volcanics were a bigger thing a couple months ago than they are now, obviously. Um, Lose a turn definitely helped them, but vanities was huge, m much bigger for them because they didn't, they never uh, special summoned. And vanities helped other decks get into the meta. It was good for the meta. Um, however, banning it is wrong. That should not happen. Um, that Vanities is a good check on the fact that we have so much special summoning in the meta. Um, and yeah, that, that, that needs to stay in. Um, mistake. I'm a UA player. I hate this card. However, um, there are a lot of decks that don't search as much as others. Yes, Necros searches. Yes, uh, UA search. So tellers technically search. They play Rhoda. Mistake is a check on that. Um, Rhoda is an overpowered card. Warriors will always be one of the top types of monsters in the meta. Always. So this this card um, is a good check on that. And that's why it needs to stay at three. Lavable Chain. Most people don't play more than one. Blue-Blooded Oni, the OTK with that, that one, yes, that plays more than one. However, most decks don't. Um, their reasoning behind this was uh, that they banned it was the Infernity, which is ridiculous. Um, nobody plays Infernities. Infernities have not been re relevant for a while. Um, nobody plays Blue-Blooded blo Oni really they really don't play it past a locals level and it's so easy to disrupt um that it, it's just unnecessary and then the dejin lock necros doesn't use their extra deck i feel at least as often as many other um as many other decks meta decks do because it's not necessary lavable chain is, to ban that is kind of ridiculous um yeah so yeah, like, I don't know. ARG is trying to split down the middle. 
And that's the point. That's what they're trying to do here. They're trying to split the fan base down the middle. And it's just toxic. To create two different uh, ban lists is just very ridiculous in my opinion. And it's, it's just not good. What ARG is doing is not good for the game. So that is all, all, all I am going to say in this video. I'm keeping this video as an open discussion, so please comment in uh, below. Uh, I will link the video to All in the Yo in the description box. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well, and have a nice day.